Um, so after Mattia drags Nagisa into the house, um, Nagisa ends up essentially living with Mattia as her roommate of sorts. Um, which brings up some interesting questions like what on earth does an ice sprite actually eat? Um, because Maddie doesn't see her eat anything for the first few weeks. Um, she sees her go outside after, like, while it's snowing, grab, like, handfuls of the fresh snow and stuff it into her face. Um, but she doesn't see her actually sit down and eat. Um, and once Maddie finds out what Nagisa eats, she's kind of glad that she didn't see it for those first few weeks. Um, I'll put Mattia down. So one of the one Nagisa's favorite foods isn't actually a food. Um, I'm not sure how familiar you all uh, with um, animals in the Arctic, but they tend to be carnivores. Um, or tend to eat a lot of meat. And this even follows with the humans. Um, like, say, the Inuit. Um, you know, it's... There kind of really isn't that much vegetation, so you don't really have the um, access to, like, food, to fruits and veg and stuff. So it's a lot of meat-heavy stuff. Um, but it isn't just the Nagasaw that eats a lot of meat, because that would be kind of unusual but not otherworldly. What is otherworldly is what Nagisa prefers to meat. Um, she will eat meat, but she actually has something she likes even better. And that's the fat. Uh, Nagisa eats animal fat. Um, Mattia finds this out when she is, um, cutting the fat off of a, I'm not sure yet if it's a beef or a pig roast, um, but she's cutting off fat, and you know, not sure if you've ever had like a really fatty slice and it's, you know, you've got like a piece like that and it's really, really gross. Um, so Mattia is cutting off these pieces. Nagisa sneaks in and starts popping them into her mouth. Um, and it's not just that she's popping them into her mouth, it's the whole time she's like, Oh, this is so good! And she's complimenting Mattia. Um and asking why she didn't have this in the house sooner. Um, so yeah, Nagisa kind of has a really gross diet. Um, in addition to the eating of animal fat and the devouring of meat, um, she also eats frozen peas, um, like they're popcorn. Like she'll take a bag of frozen peas and grab a handful, if she's watching a movie or something, grab a handful and just start chewing it. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, and Nagisa really doesn't like fruit or anything like that, unless it's frozen, um, or still, or like partially thawed, um, so she won't have, say, it's a good example, um, so she won't have, like, strawberries. But if the strawberries just came out of the freezer, or, or they've been thawing for maybe, maybe for a minute or so, and there's still a lot of frost on them, um, then she's fine with them. But she won't have them warm at all. Um, I guess I actually can't eat food that is, um, that is like very hot, so she can't have soup, um, and she can't even have like apple cider unless it is cooled um which can be a real pain for Mattia because she'll make up some great big thing and then she has to either freeze it or let it sit out for multiple hours before her roommate can actually join her in eating it um and yeah that's it